What up guys, it's Justin Roman here, and today I wanna to show y'all how to make your videos look more cinematic quickly like this. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. If y'all didn't know me, I'm Justin Romine. I'm a videographer in Dallas, Texas, and my goal with starting YouTube is to help you tell your story through video. So I'll be putting out reviews, tips, tutorials, vlogs, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're new here and you like my content, consider subscribing. Anyways, getting into the video, I see so many different easily fixable mistakes out there that can enhance your footage and take it from looking really amateur to super professional. So I'm here to show you my top six ways to make your videos look more cinematic. So my first tip is frame rate. You have to shoot in the right frame rate, or at least you have to interpret your footage in the right frame rate. No matter what frame rate you're shooting in, I want you to interpret that footage in Adobe Premiere as 23.976, aka 24 frames per second. Now the reason you wanna do this is it's gonna give somewhat of a motion blur to everything that you do. Even if you're shooting in 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second, all Hollywood films end up being exported in 24 frames per second. So no more 30, 60, 120, if you film in that, make sure to interpret that in Adobe Premiere as 23.976. My number two tip is lens choice. If you have the ability to purchase a lens that has a lower aperture, the lower the better. For instance, this lens is an aperture of a 1.4. You wanna shoot at the lowest aperture that you possibly can. Reason being, you wanna get the most bokeh because if you look at any video that you watch that's shot professionally, there's gonna be a lot of bokeh. It just adds a whole new dimension, all the depth of field that can make your footage look really cinematic very quickly. My third tip is movements. Even the slightest movements can make the biggest difference in your film. Now I'm not saying take the camera and just like wiggle it around, that's all, that's movements. What I mean by that is do cinematic slow moving movements. And there's many ways you can do this. You can purchase a gimbal or you can simply just learn how to stabilize your footage using handheld and there's various techniques you can do for that. Even the simplest of shots, if you add a slight movement to them, whether it be left to right, right to left, up or down, down to up, that's gonna make your footage look so much more cinematic. Moving on to my fourth tip, which is gonna be use matte bars on your footage. What are matte bars? They're just little black bars at the top and the bottom of your footage. This is super easy to do and can instantly make your videos look more cinematic. All you do is go into Adobe Premiere, click on the new, and then do color matte. Select black and then add that to your footage and then change the positioning to be at the top and the bottom. You can play around with this, just make sure they're both fairly equal. My fifth tip is to shoot in a flat picture profile. If you can adjust the picture profiles on your camera, do so. I know on my Sony, I can shoot in S-Log2 or S-Log3. If you're shooting Canon, see if your camera has C-Log. If it doesn't, just go in and adjust and make sure there's like no contrast, no saturation to get the flattest image you possibly can out of camera. What this is gonna do is it's gonna make it to where you have more flexibility in the editing room when you go to color grade your footage. If you haven't seen my color grading video, go check it out, I'm gonna link it right here. If you wanna click on that and check it out, it's mainly for S-Log footage. My sixth and final tip is you must tell a story in your editing. Even the best looking footage will be meaningless and nobody will wanna watch it unless there's some type of story behind it. And by the way, you don't need words to tell a story. You can tell a story just through video. Now I'm not saying it's easier, you're gonna to have to squeeze those creative juices out, but I have faith in you, you can do it. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps you. If it did, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, if you have any other suggestions on videos you'd like to see me do, just leave that in the comment section down below. Have a great day, y'all.